we, we did it, but we didn't hold on to it. So we made our mistakes um, in that first half, um, but they held on to the ball brilliantly. And when they did, every little knock-on that happened, uh, knock-on, ball would go loose, it went to them, but you make your own luck in life. They were brilliant, but as I said, at least we showed that we can play when we do have the ball in the second. And uh, we know the level we have to get to. We knew this was the hardest of hard days. Ah, difficult to, to say, uh, Sergio might have a better view on the pitch. I, um, uh, if you were to ask me now, you'd say Ireland will win. Uh, don't know what their injuries, I hope their injuries aren't as bad as they looked. They didn't look great injuries. Um, so, I mean, Tyg, if, if Tommy Bonney had known <laughs> that Tyg had pulled up, he probably would have kept on going. Um, and Robbie's doesn't look good at all. So, they're big losses to that team. Um, as you think further down the road, they won't lose here. Um, uh, they'll, they'll have stiffer tests because the team will hold on to the ball that we didn't in the first half and we'll ask different you, the whole mental energy of a game will change but can't see it doing anything other than going down March 17th No yeah, it's, I said we're not here to get a pat on the back and say we're plucky and do well to come back um, and, and Trey I'm, am I the word I didn't say, but I wouldn't say proud. Um, am I glad uh, that we showed that fight? Yes, because I wanted to, you know, we want to show people we've got ability, and we do, but we know all the things that we have to do. This is not easy. If this was easy, we'd, it wouldn't be a job. If this was an easy fix, we'd be done tomorrow and we'd wave the magic wand. Um, but we all know what we're in it for, and we'll, we'll do it because there's, you could see that there's no one shirking. We know. Everything we have to do in fitness-wise, the intensity we need to get players is the only way these guys will learn. We ten, ten British lines in that Irish team, there was ten guys under ten caps. And only one, you, know, you know who's learning uh, as they go. Um, and I want to do something special for this bloke in the next two years, and we will. And we know, we know what our goals are today. It's bloody hard. Um, it's really hard because uh, we are so competitive as, as people. Uh, but we're also realistic. So, uh, you know, if Mattia had got away and it looked like it was a great chase by Erlsey, uh, that's probably what Joe will pick out most than anything else in the whole game. Uh, from an Ireland point of view, what a chase back. And it looked like Mattia was just about to get away, but uh, we might have missed tackles, but we had to make a lot as well, and that would have tired our players. So, no, we, we, we have a lot of ability uh, in, this, in this group, but we have a lot of work to do, which we know. And I said I knew right from where I go, we never said it publicly, uh, this was the day I thought was going to be the hardest that we were going to face in many a year uh, for a multitude of different reasons. And uh, it's done. I'm disappointed we just didn't do what we said we'd do in that first half. Grazie. Oh, last one. What was the most uh, disappointing aspect from your point of view on the pitch? Qual è la cosa più, insomma, che ti dispiace di più vista dal campo, dal tuo punto di vista? The, the first 20 minutes uh, was a disaster. So. I just say that Ireland is a great side and when they play under pressure they are very good and today they play without pressure they are awesome. <laughs> so they started well so after 20 minutes it was 10, 21 or 28 oh. So of course they run from their 22, they play work good rugby because they, they're able to do. It was difficult for us so I just so disappointed for the first 20 minutes how mentally we, and the mistake we made mistake that we can control, like misses first line out and in a couple of of easy uh, knock-ons or, or, or we drop a lot of balls sometimes in contact, but uh, just dis very disappointed for, for the first 20 Sì, ovviamente sono molto dispiaciuto per tutti gli errori che abbiamo commesso specialmente nei, nei primi 20 minuti che insomma, poi hanno messo l'Irlanda nella condizione di gestire la partita come, come ha fatto. Come paragoni Inghilterra e Irlanda, visto che sono le prime due squadre che avete affrontato in questo torneo? Well, I, I, th I think sincerely that Ireland play much better rugby than England for me. It's much difficult to defend. Gioca un rugby in Irlanda, a mio modo di vedere, un rugby molto migliore. Of course, England is a great side, they play good rugby as well, but for me personally, and after these two games, was was much difficult against, against Ireland. So... 
I like the way they play. For me, they play very good rugby, so yeah, I think they play them better than England.